All right, guys, uh, did a little investigating here. I cleaned up the top of one of these pistons really well. And check it out. There's definitely a crack there. However, if you look at the underside, it doesn't go all the way through. So that doesn't make sense to me that it's burning oil because there's a crack, or it's got blow by because there's a crack in the piston. However, if you come over here and you look at these liners, they are polished like to a mere shine. You, I mean, you could see the cross hatches on them, but there's scars in them, probably from where the rings were sitting. And um, man, that's really hard to see on the camera. You can see this one, it's got vertical scars on it pretty good. And I think that's the source of uh, all the blow by and every cylinder is like that. So definitely still gonna have to get um, liner and piston kits. But as luck has it, I still got to get the um, whatever freaking size that is. 40, I think it's 42. I calipered it. So I'll have to order one of those. So I'm kind of at a standstill here because I can't get that front case off without um, doing all this other stuff. So for now, I've got it torn down as far as I can. And uh, I'll have to deck the top of this block here after I put the liner, or after I pull the liners, I'll deck it and then put the new liners in, clean it up, and uh, run a bunch of this stuff through the dishwasher. So that'll keep me busy for a while cleaning up some of these parts. I did order a new uh, water pump, obviously, and uh, I'm gonna either have to make a cover or pull the gear off of this power steering pump because it, it's pointless to have it on there. So I don't, I don't know what I'm going to end up doing. I might be able to make a cover for it. I think making a cover on there would be pretty easy if I just took a piece of aluminum and then... Uh, I don't think that gear turns anything else. Pretty sure it doesn't. I guess I won't really know until I pull this whole front case off. But I think if I... Uh, made a cover for that just eliminated that whole assembly that would be great save a little bit of weight but um other than that nothing nothing odd no cracks in the block no cracks in any of the liners so i'm pretty happy about that so the main cost of rebuilding this motor is going to be the uh liner and piston kit and i'm still torn and undecided if i should go with an aftermarket one or the original isuzu ones there's about a $500 difference in cost and at this point I'm undecided on if I should keep uh, pursuing the Isuzu OEM ones or go with an aftermarket kit but I think that's going to be it for today guys if you uh, like this video give me a thumbs up tell me what you think Tell me uh, what your thoughts are if, if you were the person doing this build, if you would buy the aftermarket liner kit or you would buy the original Isuzu ones. Um, looking on the internet, it's a, it's a toss, it's a coin flip. Some people say they work great and other people say they don't work so great. I guess it might be finding the correct aftermarket manufacturer for these. I know uh, I did some research and Nippon, N-I-P-P-O-N, is the manufacturer of the liners and the pistons for these motors but they stamp them with Isuzu on the inside of the piston so I hope you guys are staying safe and uh, you're enjoying this downtime that we're having because I have a feeling after this downtime there's either going to be a recession or a whole bunch of work coming up so but other than that guys take care and I'll catch you next time see you later bye bye